Thought the God of wisdom guides my path through the desert of my soul. The sands of time shift and swirl as I search for truth and meaning. Marked by the eye of Horus, I see the secrets of ancient Egypt. The pyramids hold the key to unlocking my inner power. I am a mystic, a shaman of the unknown. I dance between worlds, I am not alone. With every step, I awaken my soul and embrace the power within me. I dive deep into the unknown and discover my true purpose. The spirits of my ancestors guide my way as I journey through the stars. I am connected to all that is. And my heart sings with all belongs. Well, hello there, Leo. How you doing, Leo? I got Dark Crystal Tarot for you. Um, I got Moon and Leo, so I'm talking to myself. I know this. I know this. The problem is nobody else knows how to talk to themselves like I know how to talk to <laughs> What do you mean, Mark? What do you mean? What does that mean? What are you talking about? What I mean is, is when I'm talking to myself, like I'm talking to you right now, because I'm talking to you is talking to myself. I see that I'm talking to myself while I'm talking to you. Where you don't, Leo. You think you're separate somehow from the collective consciousness because you were first and you did all the X, Y, and Z, A, B, C, and Y, and my family, and you, and me, and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, love ya. We're moving on. Let's shuffle up, see what we get. Leo. Okay, Leo, you're kind of in your own way here, and what happens, your transformation from here, Leo, is up to you. You can either end up being an evil Superman or a good Superman uh, through the death of Superman coming up and transforming to the black, um, you know, 1990s Superman with the S after he dies and comes back or whatever. And that's what this Empress in Reverse is here with the energies and atmosphere. Uh, September for Leo is like not your drain, not getting enough love for yourself or doing the right things for yourself or something like that. And then you have the spirit of the Ten of Crystal or the Ten of Shards, which is like carrying all the weight or like a Ten of Wands or the burdens spiritually and feeling like you have to because nobody wants to take that the helm, even though you're being a hypocrite and you don't realize it. And I'm just kidding. It's okay. And you're like, you're being a hypocrite. And I'm like, that's the point, Leo. You can't b bounce it back at me because you're the Leo. You're the Leo. I'm the Cancer. This, this is what I do. Not, you don't do what I do. You do you, Leo. <laughs> Leo. Leo do you, Leo. 
Leo, you need to do Leo, okay? And stop trying to carry it all like you're the Leo first and did it all and everybody hates you for it. No, nobody hates you for it, okay? It's an illusion, all right? You have this eight of gems in your mind thinking you have to do it all on your own or something or you're like... Don't like the messages, or they're fast and coming at you, or like stubborn, or um, not seeing things in the right manner. Uh, you know, blinded by the light of the gems. There's <laughs> physical is the seven of shards. Um, the material world. You know, here's the good news, Leo. I'm gonna tell you the good news. You have the king of coin or gems here. So these are pinnacles, right? Eight of pinnacles in reverse, king of pinnacles here in your social game. Eight of pinnacles in reverse, you, you think you have to do all the work. And then, um, because this is the intellectual aspect, right? This is the spiritual aspect, carrying all the work spiritually, intellectually thinking you have to do it all. Physical, uh, seven of, of shards here. Oh, wait, the king of gems is um, a lesson learning into a new perspective and changing the tint in your rose colored glasses because this is the social aspect the two of stones in reverse you're being stubborn and you know like refusal of seeing it in other ways because you're like this is who I am this is how I got here even though there are aspects of yourself that you've disconnected from that are still part of you because you, that doesn't go away in the 4D. In the 4D, it's all one. It's all past, future, present. It's, you know, ancestry. It's all one if you want to look at it in a 4, 5D, 6D, anywhere D. Any D at all, you know, ultimate 90 million God D, whatever the hell you want to believe. You kind of think of it like, oh my gosh, I'm all of these things all at once, right? So why am I so inst it, uh, so stuck on my emotions of being a uh, two of stones bottom of my belly re refusal of this because I feel like my independence is going to be separated or my independence is going to be taken from me or something I don't know I don't get it it's like nobody wants your independence oh yeah that's right seven of shards nobody wants your money nobody wants your values nobody wants your your kingdom your empire whatever it is you got going on nobody wants to take it from you because you don't deserve it it's a matter of are you what are you willing to do with it and is it still good enough or does it need to evolve or does there's there some karmic thing here going on with the social that you're going to learn about because it's not like you're the bad guy here leo this is all on your hands because Pluto tricks you like that. Pluto tricks you into thinking you need to kill everyone or you need to fight people who are fighting you or something. And or you think people are fighting you when they're not. They're just, you know, ex explaining their emotions with you and and what's going on with them and and maybe you trigger parts of them and they trigger parts of you and it's a bit, you know, dance with the devil kind of thing. So Leo, look I'm going to check you right here with me and you going on, Leo. You beautiful, amazing human being, because I love everybody. I really do, truly, deeply. You amazing, wonderful human being. <laughs> Listen, Leo. You got this, okay, Superman? You need the sun for your power. That's why I call you Superman, because you need the sun. You are the sun. Without the sun, you fall into darkness, okay? So, Leo, Superman... You ready, Leo? Okay, that that was a trial in a brief little, you know, back and forth of, di you know, oh, how the world was in Capricorn, Pluto Capricorn climax, because it's the bottom or top, depending on how you look on it, your perspective. Um, but anyway, it's a climax. The Pluto Capricorn is a climax. Pluto Aquarius, especially in this country, is the beginning or the retribution or the revolution or the redistribute or whatever you want to call it the reconfiguration the rees of the rees because trees and rees and my daughter would be like Ree! <laughs> I love her she's such a genius both of them they're like 20 million steps ahead of us and you guys don't get it but it's okay um I love them they inspire me but anyways Leo I'm talking about you Leo 
Yeah, Leo. Because, you know, it's all about you, Leo. That's the thing, though. No. Uh, no, I love you. You're going to be fine. Let's get into the Oracle cards. Follow me over there if you're a member. Uh, if not, join. Please be a member. Uh, and if not, subscribe, like, and share. Uh, if you can't afford it, wait till the end of the month. It'll come out. You can always catch uh, August's Oracle readings if you want to check those out. They're coming out soon. Uh, on the 31st, the last day of the month is when the Oracle comes out for free. The Oracle readings. So... You'll see August. Uh, you won't be able to see September unless you're a member, okay? Or if you wait till the end of the month. Uh, other than that, I love you. We're going to move on to Sagittarius. Bye. Subscribe, like, and share. Hey, if you want the Oracle reading, you got to go over here. You got to click this join button, right? And yeah, see if you want to click that please. join button. Your page, and boom. You you're going to get all kinds of content that's locked away from the public. Not just, you know, the Oracle readings. There's other content there too. And more to come. So join, please, and thank you.